Hands down, one of the best and most easiest ways to save time when creating videos, both in the filming portion as well as in the editing portion, is using a teleprompter because you're gonna nail down your shot sooner because you have the words that you need to deliver. And then in editing, you have less footage to actually edit down. And so that's why in this video, I'll be breaking down this awesome teleprompter from GVM. It is a professional teleprompter, but we're also gonna be breaking down the other teleprompters that they offer. So let's get into it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar al with Think Media. And if you didn't know what Think Media is, essentially we are a huge education company that teaches how to grow on YouTube. And so we have various different content creators, whether it's myself, we have Sean Cannell, Heather Torres, Nolan Moult, and more. But we film so many different kinds of things, whether it's shooting ads for our different programs that we offer, shooting YouTube videos for this channel, as well as shooting podcasts and so much more. And we've implemented using a teleprompter a couple years back and is completely completely revolutionized the content creation process and has allowed us to move so much faster and get more done. And I'm super pumped to be talking about this specific teleprompter in this video. And this is the GVM TQLD Pro teleprompter, which comes in at around $800 at the time of shooting this video. And if you think that's crazy, let me get through what you get in this package. And then I'll break down the other ones they offer uh, based off of where you're at in your budget. So with this teleprompter, you're gonna get a super high quality flight case. And this case is like a legit luggage that if you even wanted to use it as a luggage, but you know, it does hold this teleprompter all together. Um, however, this is more or less that kind of teleprompter you want to like live in a set. Um, because of how heavy it is when it's all things are put together. However, it is super nice that they ship out this teleprompter with this case. And then the various things that come together to make this teleprompter happen have to start with number one, the mirror that it comes with. And this is a super high definition mirror that is actually framed in a nice aluminum slash metal kind of framing, uh, which has some magnet to it, which we'll talk about the next thing. However, this mirror is awesome and super clear and is anti-glare. And it's not gonna give you any issues when it comes to uh, you know, light coming in, this, that, or the other. And so that's really nice that they include that. And then the next thing this teleprompter has is a super high quality case surrounding that actually magnetizes onto the mirror itself, really keeping it in place. And then I love how they have the fabric with the cinch to go just around the lens of your camera, uh, which other teleprompters on the market oftentimes have this like big droopy thing that you gotta like put over the entire camera. And sometimes it like falls into the lens, you know, in the shot and stuff like that. All that to say, the cover is super nice and well thought through. The next thing that this kit includes is an Android tablet. Yes, they include a complete tablet into this kit and it's about 13 or 12 or 13 inches or so, but it is a pretty hefty and weighty Android tablet and it does need to be powered on continuously. So that's something to keep in mind. And then you're gonna get a camera stand where you can screw on your camera and there's the ability to slide it back and forth. And so there's a lot of flexibility uh, with this teleprompter altogether. But all these things that I mentioned rest on the alloy base, which has like a piping and locking mechanism that'll keep everything super secure. And then they also throw in a Bluetooth remote so that you could start and stop your teleprompter as you're using it. But all that to say, you get everything you need to just use this as a teleprompter all by itself. Now, some things we do add and some things you do wanna know that with this teleprompter is you are gonna need a more uh, hefty video head tripod. This setup, this teleprompter setup up top is pretty heavy. And if you have a you know a tripod for a small camera, it's not really gonna hold up too well. So we'll make sure we post links to that. And then the, another addition that we've added to it is the quick release system that we love by Manfrotto. And so uh, whether the quick release system from the tripod itself or also the quick release system for the camera that goes on the camera plate and so that we can just pop on and off the camera as well. Now it is nice that this Android teleprompter comes with the GVM teleprompter app preloaded onto it. However, this isn't a high quality or a you know future forward a tablet. This is a very basic tablet that'll just get the job done to be used as a teleprompter. Although it is an Android tablet, it doesn't have like your Google Play Store. And if you want to download extra apps onto this thing, you have to do like a workaround by loading in the apps that you want to download using like a flash drive or plugging this tablet into a computer itself. And so that's just something to note and that this uh, tablet does not have an HDMI in, so you can't use it, you know, with an external computer and then load up, you know, display here. So that's just some things to keep in mind. It does have a micro USB, a regular USB and an SD card slot. And so those are some things that this tablet has. It's kind of like, it seems like this tablet came out in like 2010, that's what it seems like, or maybe even like 2006, but it does do the job when you're using it as a teleprompter. 
Now this definitely is GVM's most high-end teleprompter and I would say not everybody needs this teleprompter. Um, I'm actually a fan of using your iPad if you own an iPad as a teleprompter or if you split the cost by buying the other ones that GVM offers, which just some notable mentions about the ones that they do offer, which number one is the TQS, which is an $80 teleprompter that actually screws onto the front of your camera lens and then you can use your smartphone uh, as your teleprompter and so that's one of the most inexpensive ways that you can implement a teleprompter workflow in your video creation. And then the other two teleprompters that they have work with a tablet you already own, whether it's an iPad or an Android tablet. And the first one is the GVM TQM, which is a $200 teleprompter, which has kind of like that flimsy cover that goes over your camera. But I think the one out of the bunch that truly is my favorite is the TQL, which is half the price of this one, coming in at around $420. And because I already own an iPad, this is the one I would go with because it kind of has the build quality that this one has. However, it is meant to be used with a tablet you already own. Now it is super cool that GVM offers different teleprompters based off of different budgets. However, I'd love to know from you down in the comments below, which teleprompter resonates most with you based off of your budget and your content creation needs. And what do you think about this super professional one? Like. I mean, it's, it is pretty legit based off of like all the things you get. But all that to say here at Think Media, we definitely prepare our videos by writing them out. And sometimes it is verbatim and sometimes it's outlines. Personally for me, I write my intro out verbatim and then I read out my intro because I think the intro of a video is so, so important. And then I make sure that there's like these no miss things, especially if we're working with brands and things like that. But if you need help with your script writing, we actually have a video and you can check that out by clicking or tapping the screen. Thank you so much for watching this one and I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.